Right, it's good. Yeah. Okay, what I'll do is get you on the boat, get you stripped down. We've got a sleeping bag and stuff and blanket. Hey, no, don't be sorry, dude. I'm sorry, I failed my wife, man. I failed her. Let's get you out of the water first, buddy. Oh, I'm sorry, Shauna. I'm sorry. I tried. You're like a failure. No, you're not a failure, mate. At the end of the day, it's survival, isn't it? All my wool clothing is on me, my thermal clothing is on me. And most important, the only pair of boots are wet inside. My gill net is set. I was just wanting to set it back a little bit more and trusting that the outrigger would uh, hold my weight while I was moving the, the big rock. I guess I trusted it too much. I keeled over and I couldn't right myself, but man, I, I went head in. I couldn't help it. I, I thought about my options and I thought about how feasible it is for me to uh, dry myself out with a little fire that I can make there in the lodge. And the thing is, I'm, I have too much of the warm clothes on. So yeah, I'm officially tapping out. I'm starting to get cold. Oh. Mm. The bush is the bush. It can overwhelm you in many ways. It can certainly surprise you. A lot of things can go wrong. Life has given me this one chance to make a, a life-changing event happen for my family. And I just lost that chance. It's devastating. It's devastating when you tried so hard. I mean, you, you lost so much weight as I have lost. So much strength, like really ruining my body just to push it one more day. By the time they got me into the boat, I was really getting into the core. If I would have tried to self-rescue, it would have meant them rescuing me later at night, making everything that much more complicated. And then I would have been really hypothermic. Things just happen. You, you you plan and plan and plan, and then the bush finds a way to surprise you anyway. Alone at last. It's scary out here in these woods. My stomach is in knots.